Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of DeClue's Views. Um, I'm Richard DeClue, also known as DeClue Bach. Um, it's a nickname that was given to me back in graduate school. Anyway, I wanted to do this video as an update. Obviously, I have not posted a video in quite a long time. We're probably going around a month at this point since my last video. And so I wanted to offer um, some reasons for why that's been and give some hope that in the future that could change and I'll be able to start doing the videos again. Um, the main reason, as many of you already know, I've been trying to finish my doctorate for some time now. And time has been of the essence lately. The written dissertation needs to be approved by the end of October. And then the Lexio and the defense need to take place by the end of November. And so I just kind of wanted to share with you that process and what's been going on. Um, my seventh and final chapter was submitted to my director, who has mailed me um, his handwritten notes. I have not received those yet. I'm hoping they're going to come in today um, to make those corrections before they go to the two other readers that have to approve it. Um, in addition to the written dissertation and the defense thereof, I have to do what's called a lexio. And what a lexio is, it's basically the way it works is I have five topics that are related to the topic of the dissertation, but not so much so that the defense would be superfluous. So the five topics that I have to prepare are Eve's Kangaran tradition, Ratzinger on the place of Christianity within world religions, George Terrell on divine revelation, Ratzinger on salvation outside the church, um, and Ratzinger's assessment of political theology. So those are my topics. And the reason that those are the topics is because I could do anything pretty much on Ratzinger other than Revelation or anything on Revelation other than Ratzinger. So that's how those topics were chosen. The dissertation, of course, is Joseph Ratzinger's Theology of Divine Revelation. So basically, after the written dissertation is approved in final form, then 24 hours before the Lexio, they will tell me which of those five topics I will be presenting on. So that doesn't give me a whole lot of time. So I have to prepare all five. And once they tell me which one it is, the next day I will give a presentation followed by um, questions and answers from the dissertation board. So that's uh, somewhat nerve-wracking. Um, should go okay. But that's mean that means I've had to spend a lot of time finalizing those topics and the bibliography for them, as well as actually reading those documents. And so that's that's been a, a big part of my work the last several weeks, as well as finishing some editing and some additions to the dissertation and completing chapter seven. Um, and then about a week after the Lexio, I will have the dissertation defense. And, you know, again, that'll be nerve-wracking. I'll be glad when it's all done. Um, but please pray that it all goes very well. Um, it's difficult because I'm still working full-time at the dealership. I did take some PTO days a couple over a couple weeks um, to, to work on it. Um, but I, now I'm back into full-time at the dealership, which means, you know, 50-hour work weeks or so. So that's making it very difficult to try to finish all this on top of all my other duties at home. So that's why I've just I've had to put the YouTube channel on the back burner as well as my blog. Um, I just I had to I have to focus on this right now, and I hope you all understand that. And um, hopefully, in the end, it will lead to more content for you all that I can use the studies I've been doing here um, to benefit you and to share some of the knowledge I've gained through that process. Um, 
a little bit of a background to the dissertation topic. It wasn't my first choice. My actual prior graduate work was more focused on ecclesiology, which is theology of church, the origin, nature, structure, mission of the church, um, especially in Catholic Orthodox dialogue. I did my STL thesis on um, the Petrine ministry within a Eucharistic ecclesiology, according to John Zizulis and Joseph Ratzinger. Um, so it was trying to tackle um, Catholic Orthodox dialogue regarding the papacy from a Eucharistic perspective, since we share Eucharistic ecclesiology. The goal was then to try to address what divides us the most, the papacy, within that structure. So that's what that was about. Um, there's a condensed version of it found in Nova et Vetera that I wrote an article in on Eucharistic Ecclesiologies of Locality and Universality in John Zizulis and Joseph Ratzinger. Um, it's probably even a better read than the actual full thesis. Um, I think it just flows more smoothly, and it covers most of the main points of that. So that was really my area. I had one master's level Revelation in Faith course that I really didn't get a whole lot of, out of. So venturing into the area of fundamental theology, foundational theology, um, especially theology of Revelation, was kind of a bold move for dissertation because you, you normally write on something you've studied more in depth. So the dissertation required that I do a lot of background work to even engage in the topic. The main reason for it was I couldn't find anyone to direct a ecclesiology dissertation, um, unfortunately. <clears throat> and it happened to be during, when I was looking at topics, it happened to be shortly after Ratzinger's original Habilitationsschrift um, was finally published after decades, many decades. I mean, it was originally written in the 50s. And it was never published before because it had not been approved. It was actually rejected, and he had to scrap the parts on Revelation and focus on Bonaventure's theology of history instead. So, um, but as part of his collected works, Herder and Herder decided to publish in German the original version of the Habilitationsschrift that had been rejected by Schmaus, his second reader. Um, so, sorry, I just want to show you. This is the the volume containing it. It's, uh, probably can't see that. Um, anyway, it's part of his collected works. It's all in German. There's no English translation, so that also was a challenge. I'd say about 85% of my dissertation sources were from German texts, as far as volume at least. And so that took a lot of work. Um, it's been very difficult, but illuminating. Um, before I wrote the dissertation, I thought Dave Verbum was basically sufficient, and that's not very long at all. What, like eight pages or something, not including footnotes? Maybe 12 including footnotes? So I had suspected that I'd be able, or I was wondering how one could write a whole dissertation on Theology of Revelation. Well, I found out. Um, it's very in-depth. There's a lot of questions involved. It in, it's situated within the modernist crisis, as well as um, the battle between um, different factions of the church, including neo-scholastics and post-Trinitine theology, not Trent itself, although the Council of Trent gets brought in a lot as well, and how to properly understand the Council of Trent and Revelation. Um, it's been a very interesting dissertation, and it does widen at least my areas of expertise. I'm mostly a systematic theologian, which includes fundamental theology, but again, more, more, most of my work was on <clears throat> ecclesiology before that. It also happens, and I sort of realized this in retrospect, that in going from ecclesiology for my STL thesis to revelation of my dissertation, I was sort of following the path of Ratzinger himself because his original dissertation was in that realm of ecclesiology 
on St. Augustine's, or the House and People of God and St. Augustine's Doctrine on the Church. And then he, it was suggested by Gottlieb Züngen, who was his director, that for his Habilitationsschrift, he um, write on fundamental theology and from a, a medieval theologian. So that's why he ended up doing Revelation and Salvation History on Bonaventure. So I ended up basically following his same order of topics and writing on him for both of them. So that's quite fitting. Um, it's, it's a very difficult topic and hopefully somebody I can do and I actually like to publish it, at least a shortened version of the dissertation. I'm debating between publishing the, the, the dissertation as it stands, as well as doing a shorter version, um, or just doing one or the other. So I haven't made any decisions there yet. Um, but we'll see where that goes. I, I would like to publish something on that. I'd also like to eventually write a, a book on Ratzinger's theology, more of a complete exposition of his thought over many areas of theology. And there, there are already a lot of books out there, but I, I, I would like to sort of offer my own because I think some of them either leave certain important topics out of their presentation um, or they don't really present them in some sort of a, a logical order. I think there's a an order of presentation that would be most conducive to understanding his overall thought and showing how they all relate together, because that's one of the hallmarks of Ratzinger's theology, is his ability to keep the whole and the parts together and show their interrelationship. So anyway, um, that's sort of my status update. Um, please keep me in your prayers. Um, I'd appreciate it. Um, the next month and a half or so are going to be rather intense and um, hope that I can find the time to do a, a good job on all of these things and again I apologize for not uploading more videos I've just had to focus on this I, I, I hope and pray that you guys can understand that and appreciate it um, but you know um, my prayers are with you I ask for your prayers for me and may God continue to bless all of us and shed his light upon us God bless